what was it like working with Goldberg? And are you surprised he's still wrestling? Supposedly still making about uh, three million a year, from what I hear. <laughs> uh, Bill's a great guy. I'm happy to see these. First of all, still in phenomenal shape. Uh, you know, he's super easy to work with uh, for me and, and WCW. Albeit, I, I think the company didn't do it properly. Um, you know, th th there was no reason to just feed me up after building that heat to just, you know, take it right off of us. Uh, I think we could have really built that to something special. And, and it, but again, that's that, that, that was just endemic to, uh, uh, to WCW at the time. Uh, you know, it's by putting him in there, look, Bill, Bill's not a 60 minute guy, right? Never going to be, uh, same with Lesnar and some of the others, their attractions showcase them in, in, with their strengths as opposed to putting them like a turtle on their back in something they shouldn't be doing. Uh, you know, and, and Bill still being in the shape that he's in and, and being able to go, if you showcase him in, in that short, explosive type way, the same as they do with Brock Lesnar, you know, you, you can keep him protected. Not protect is part of the wrong word. You, you can keep him elevated. Uh, but when you start making somebody who never was a, you know, 60 minute guy start to have to put in some time in a place like Saudi Arabia, that's 900 degrees, you're, you're probably going to be disappointed at the outcome. Uh, you know, I, when I see Bill and, 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 and like how he sort of transcends, like from the generations, it's reminiscent to me of what I saw in wrestling coming up. You know, there was, like I said before, there were so many guys in that dress. It didn't matter who you were working with. They all had 20, 30 years experience and could sure as hell teach you a thing or two. And, and now with that being sanitized out, you know, uh, you know, these guys and women, they're all in the ring with their peers, you know, so it's pretty difficult to learn from your peers. You know, Mick Foley and I both trained under Dominic, you know, both became pretty, you know, big names in, in the business and, and drew some money. But if Mick and I had gone on the road all those years ago together and only ever wrestled each other, what could I have taught him? What could he have taught me? But by being in the ring with all the other guys that we did uh, and, and learning over those years, that's where we started to then master the craft. Uh, and, and today, you know, if what I'm hearing is accurate, you know, the, a lot of the guys won't take that, in, that input, uh, don't care to get it from the guys that, that have been around and, you know, just want to go out and do their thing. Uh, they're limiting themselves by doing that. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on Patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad-free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.